Hello Python coders. In this first problem in the chapter 5 preparation assignment, we're supposed to generate two random numbers from 1 to 5 and uh, print out the positive difference of the two. Or if they're equal, just we want to print that out as well. So we have to import the random module and we'll give it the alias RA. Our numbers are two random integers. We're going to generate those with the randint function of the random module and uh, they have to be between one to five inclusive. So that's one comma five, not one comma six, like the range function. Now it's possible that num one is more than num two. Well, if that's the case, we'll subtract num two from num one to get the positive difference, and then we'll print that out. It's possible, however, that num two is more than num one. If that's the case, we'll subtract num one from num two to get the positive difference and then we'll print that out. And then the third possibility is that they're equal, and we'll handle that with the else block. So here's how this could run. There's one output. We'll try it a few more times. And one more time. And I'll have to run it quite a few times, I guess, to get uh, two that were equal. Let's take a look at the second problem here, the second problem in this assignment preparation assignment that required you to uh, enter a temperature and then specify whether it was Celsius or Fahrenheit and then do the conversion as appropriate. So we want to do this, however, in a custom module. We want you to define two functions in a custom module called temps. So we need to look at that first. So let's look at the temps module. Here's the temps module. The temps module is just a file that contains function definitions. That's what a module is. It's a file that contains function definitions. You'll notice there's no main function here, just two function definitions. Nothing in here runs. Okay, this is just function definitions. And you'll notice that uh, the first one, F to C, is uh, given a Fahrenheit temperature, it's going to return the Celsius temperature. So this is a value returning function. However, the C to F function is going to take a Celsius temperature, convert it to Fahrenheit, and then print it out accurate to one decimal place, which is what we're doing here with the uh, F string. Okay, so this these are the function definitions in the temps.py module. Now, set that aside for a moment. Here's the program. In order to use that module, we have to import temps. Notice it's not temps.py, just temps. Now, we're going to, uh, as according to the requirements, we're supposed to input a temperature. We'll do that and we'll assign it to the variable temp. Then we have to specify whether that was a Celsius or Fahrenheit temperature. And we'll do that with the variable scale. If the scale is F, then we'll run the F to C function, but it's from the temps module. So we have to specify temps dot to run the F to C function from the temps module. You have to specify the module name in a dot operator before the name of the function that you want. And uh, because that's a value returning function, we're catching the return value in the variable C, which we're then going to print out here accurate to one decimal place. However, if the user enters C, then we're going to be running the C to F function from the temps module. Once again, we do that with temps dot and then the name of the function. But this is a void function. It doesn't return a value. So you run a void function kind of like the way you run the print function. You just, you just run it. It doesn't return any value. So we don't have to assign it to anything. By the way, the int function is a value returning function. Notice it returns a value that we catch in a variable temp. Likewise, the input function is a value returning function. It returns a string that we're catching in the variable scale here. Okay, so let's see how this works. We'll give this one a try. Okay, we'll enter a temperature. I'm gonna try 32, and I'm gonna say that's a Fahrenheit temperature. So we know that what that should work out to in Celsius. Yep, there it is, zero. So that, that looks pretty good for zero Celsius, which of course is correct. Let's try another one. This time we'll enter a Celsius temperature. I'll go with uh, 100. Now, as you may know, that's the boiling point of water in the Celsius scale. So if I enter C here, we do get 212, which is the boiling point of water in Fahrenheit. So this is working properly. 